You never do what you do for awards, um, but when you're recognized, it's pretty awesome to know that people have um, been blessed by your music, but also they're putting you in a category where your music has made a change, has made a difference for those who are coming behind you. So, pretty awesome feeling. But the funny part of, of being, we didn't label ourselves the first family of gospel music. All we did was, was take the love that we had and the talent that God gave us, and the lessons that our father and mother taught us to the world. As long as there's people that need to be inspired, that means I still have a job to do. So I, even though I'm very grateful for all that we've done, there's so much more to do because the accomplishments are not the accomplishments are not about me. It's about reaching people and inspiring. Yeah. So as long as there's more people, there's more to sing, more to say, more to do. Season uh, five of the Mary Mary Show is coming. Yeah. Eric and I will probably be in the studio working on a new album by the end of this year. There Possibly. will be another Mary Mary album. Oh, child, we'd be here all day. I mean, I, I love uh, Always, I love Lost Without You, I love Heaven, I love everything that they've done. I have so many BB and CC songs, um, and they've been family friends since uh, I was a teenager. So, uh, you know, certainly being around when they were writing, recording, what have you. Um, I don't know, I think Heaven is just such a, you know, it was such a different feel. I remember singing a song called In Return by C.C. Winans, um, and that was one of those songs that just immediately when I heard it, I fell in love with it, I was moved by it, I was touched by it, I was inspired by it. I think it's always great when there is some place where gospel music has um, a place to be appreciated. Um, I think that we've seen over the course of the last decade or so that the presence of gospel music is diminished in other award ceremonies. And so to come out to something that is dedicated to honoring those who write this amazing music, um, music with purpose, music with passion, music that edifies and builds up, um, music of love, um, music of overcoming, it's, this is really important. It's everything the word trailblazer speaks to. I mean, it's a celebration of trailblazers, amazing people who inspire us, empower us, encourage us, and set the tone for so many of us to do what God has called us to do. Saluting tonight's brilliant songwriters, in this room is a privilege that all of us at BMI look forward to each and every January. So thank you all for coming. In addition, we'll be honoring a few other people this evening. Two renowned sibling teams whose towering voices have taken the genre of gospel music to, to great new heights. Let's give a warm welcome to the Luminary Sister Act, Mary Mary, and BMI's legendary brother and sister act, BB and CC Winans. So we have a nice little award for you. It says, the BMI Trailblazer Award, 2016 BMI Trailblazer of Gospel for your 16 years of outstanding service to the world of gospel music. Congratulations, sisters. Thank you. <laughs> Today. 
B and CC. Your awards read 2016 BMI Trailblazers of Gospel Music for your, are you ready for this? 33 years of outstanding service to the world of gospel music. Congratulations on behalf of BMI. I am humbled by this award, and tonight I was just reminded of God's faithfulness. And to have a relationship and friendship with family members is rewarding to be able to not only sing with Cece, but to know Cece has my back no matter what happens, to, to know that Angie and Debbie was there not only just to sing, but to support, and to have an older brother like Marvin, who I would never sing that song again because of what you just did to it. <laughs> Lord, lift us up where we We would like to present BMI's 2015 Gospel Song of the Year to Amazing. Written by Tiff Joy, published by Glory Cloud Music, Timothy McGee, New Gen Music, and Ricky Dillard. Congratulations. We say you all remember. 